Okay, in this video, I want to go over how you use your midterm review assignments. We're going to click into it. Now, um, I am currently making <laughs> the second video right here. So this, this will be right here. But the big idea, uh, when you're getting ready for your midterm, there I have two documents for you to download. One of them is a review assignment. One of them is a review assignment with the answers typed in. Okay, but this review assignment is not an all-encompassing, here's what every problem on the test is going to look like. No, no, no. But I'm going to kind of talk through that with you right now. We This midterm is um, comprehensive. It's going to cover everything from the entire class. So the ideas here, the idea on the key concepts, pretty much spells out what's going to be on the test, almost literally problem by problem. Okay, You are going to have to interpret the meaning of a partial derivative, meaning you're going to have to take a derivative, you're going to have to substitute in numbers, and then you're going to have to tell me what it means. Think back to the wind chill problem from your notes, um, okay, something like that. Then you're going to have to find critical points, finding mins, maxes, and saddles of a 3D graph. And then you're going to have to interpret the results of that point if it were a word problem. So if you had a word problem, you may have to interpret the the, the values of that. Okay, but so the idea here is finding critical points, um, mins, maxes, and saddles of unconstrained uh, problems. So that is 15.3. Then we're going to have finding critical points, um, or you know, or whatever book you're using. I, I don't want to assume we're in a book that one specific book, but so it's finding critical points, unconstrained uh, optimization. Then we're going to have finding critical points, min, max, and saddles with constraints. Okay, well, so there were no saddles, um, but we're going to find with constraints. We did not cover substitution. We I've chopped that out because it's no longer in our competencies, so we just do Lagrange multipliers method. I have to remove that after I remember to do that. But so Lagrange multipliers, you know how to do those, then you're fine. It's going to be a Lagrange multipliers problem. Then we're going to have in solving systems of linear equations using reduced threshold and form of matrices. Uh, so, but that being said, um, I still will ask you for row operators. I will still ask you to do gauss jordan by hand, that kind of thing. So just be ready uh, to be able to do gauss jordan Show me your row operators. Show me the process. But for more complicated problems, such as a word problem, hand, 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 <laughs> You're going to want to just use reduced threshold on form in your calculator. I'm not going to make you do it by hand. The problem will specifically say, do this problem by hand. So if, if I want you to do it by hand, if it doesn't say it, technology is your friend. Okay. Uh, being able to do substitution technique or elimination technique, because that was just that what we were doing in gauss jordan and reduced threshold on form, right? Okay. Then we have the um, uh, being able to write linear equations from word problems, right? Just, I'm going to give you word problems hint 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 okay so but i will say i tend to just pick word problems that you have seen before or i write new word problems but in the same context of your homework word problems because my goal is not to try and trick you on a final exam um, i want you to feel comfortable with the context uh, but i need to assess that you actually understood what we were doing so again there may be ideas changed but the context you should be familiar with hamburger patties and doubles and single burgers and making ice cream and and whatever um profit cost revenue that you know but things things you should be familiar with okay that would be all chapter three chapter four adding subtracting and multiplying matrices by hand this will be very light on the test i want you to think about what was the big goal why did we need to be able to find inverse matrices? Well, it was all working towards solving matrices in AX equals B form. So if you don't remember that, you need to go back and practice that. That was the big idea. Um, so, but th don't expect a whole bunch of adding and subtracting matrices, but instead expect to have to use them when solving AX equals B form of matrices. Um, okay, finding max and min problems uh, using duality, aka simplex methods. So y again, you are not, I'm not going to make you solve a problem start to finish, um, but I will make you show me the row operator, select the correct pivot, etc, etc. Last but not least, be prepared for word problems, word problems, word problems. Again, I'm going to say it one more time, word problems, word problems, word problems. Half the test or more will be word problems, word problems, word problems. So just be ready for, you say it with me, word problems, word problems, word problems. Okay, now, these, again, these practice problems, these practice problems are not 
great examples of what would be on the test. I mean, this first one's actually not bad. Um, just making sure you understand, here's a formula. I've given you the formula. I'm not going to make you come up with it on your, on your own. And then saying, what is the practical meaning? Well, what does V sub L mean? Hey, that's the partial derivative of V with respect to L. Then once I do that, substitute my values 4 and 5. Now, let's substitute in our values and tell me what it means, right? What does it mean when I plug in 4 and 5 and I get out some number, right? Okay, so go through each of these problems, go through each of these problems, try to do them your best, here's my, do, as best you can, here's my warning. If you do not know how to do these, I have made you videos on how to do every single one of these, but please do not use those videos um, uh, to supplement your learning and saying, oh, I now know what I know how to do it. If you don't know how to do something like this, you need to go study your tail off and practice that again until it comes back, okay? Um, so. We're done with this. Now, the other document here is the exact same document, just with the answers typed in. So you'll see I have the answers typed in. But again, if you need more than that, as you scroll down through this assignment, you will see problem one, here's the solution. Problem two, here's the solution. Problem three, here's the solution. Get the idea? All right. I hope this is helpful, and I hope you are very successful on your midterm. If you have any questions, please ask. Do not wait. Ask now before you get yourself into a bind.